Hi Taurus, Mary here. I have your guidance for the weeks of November 15th through the 30th. And I just want to say thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes, and your shares. I'm sorry I didn't get the monthly um, out for November. I had some medical issues, and thanks so much for sticking with me. <laughs> so we're just going to do the last two weeks of November for you. Okay. All right. So the first card up is the Eight of Wands. So this tells me that there's some quick action coming in uh, this month or towards the end of the month. So um, there might be a there might be a change coming in that's unexpected, uh, but it's happening quick. Um, something quick's coming in. Now you have the Ten of Swords. So. Um, this is about feeling stabbed in the back. It may be all up in your head. The sword energy is intellect. It's what's going on in your head. So you may be overthinking this. You think that someone's maybe talking behind your back, or maybe you're talking behind someone else's back, something like that. If you're gossiping, stay out of it. It's not worth it. <laughs> um, but you just may feel like um, someone took advantage of you in some way. And you have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is like um, you're kind of um, self-reflective or you're... I feel like you're really... Um, you're really just like thinking of yourself or um, going within or self-absorbed in some way but just know that you you feel like your cups are empty because that's what you see but behind you there's two full cups so pay attention and be aware of what is going well in your life um, what you have to be grateful for don't get all up in your head about um, what others think of you or what you think others think of you um, yeah let's draw some um, oracle cards. This is Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom of the Oracle. Remember, these are general readings, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. Um, not sure what this quick action. There's a, there's a quick change or quick action coming in towards the end of the month. It looks like new. This is new life. So it looks like there's a new start coming for you. And that could be that Eight of Wand energy. Um, yeah, it's a new beginning, a new start, a new life. So you're poised to start something. Perhaps you've laid the groundwork and now you're really going for it. Um, it's a new chapter, a new start. The Ten of Swords could be that new start. And you've got the Five of Cups, which is all about change and transition. Um, from Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers, we have Connect with Music. So if you are, um, turn on the radio. I don't know if people use radios anymore. Um, <laughs> but if you're, if you're putting on um, music and you just happen to hear a certain phrase or certain words that um, connect with you, um, It could be your, your higher self or your guides trying to get a message to you. So just be aware of um, any music that you hear. It could be your guidance coming through. Perhaps you play an instrument and you haven't played in a while. Maybe get back into it. That can help you to be more creative. Um, that could be that new start. Maybe you're getting back into music. Um, but connect, connect to spirit through music. And we have the Lady of Lightning, surprises, sometimes shock. So this is all about a paradigm shift. There's definitely a shift coming the last two months of this year. A lot of people are waking up, going through ascension symptoms, going through ascension. You've got the Eight of Wands, so that leads me to believe there's a big change coming for you. Um, and it may be unexpected. 
especially with this card. There's a paradigm shift. There's some sort of unexpected surprise coming for you um, for the month of November. Let's see. I'm going to pull a card from my new deck, Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors. And we have the Hermit card, Retreat and Recharge. So um, spend some time in quiet contemplation and meditation. Um, I feel like you really need to get out of your head. I feel like you're feeling, you're overthinking things and you're feeling, it's like you're worried about what other people think of you or are saying about you, but you really need to get out of your head. Um, This card, this um, Five of Cups, shows me that you're, you're self-absorbed and you're just like going through things in your head about, about um, what other people are thinking of you, things like that. Um, try to go into your heart instead of your head. Um, try to connect with the divine. You've got a new life coming for you. There's a new start. Uh, quick action, quick change, quick transition coming in. Um, and it could be this awakening process for you. Okay, um, I hope this was helpful for you, Taurus. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, and share. And I would love a comment below if you resonate. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.